104.5 CVFM. Community voice for Middlesbrough. Morgan Fantastic's News. News just in. Morgan Fantastic plays the wrong track in the opening of the show. <laughs> the Daft There you go, that's a better start, isn't it? <laughs> start number two. Oh, I messed up there, didn't I? You did. Well, those tracks were You Can't Rule a Skate uh, in a Buffalo Herd. You can't. You can't. It's, it's true. Got a point. It's absolutely true. Uh, who is it by? Let's have a look. Roger Miller. Yeah. Oh, I think you say Roger Moore. Roger Moore did this one. Yeah. I oh, know. That's the back and track vocal you can track, sorry. Like, this one underneath, do you know what? I ignorantly didn't write it down. Ah, oh, that's very ignorant of you. It's some track or other I've wrote down. <laughs> that's what I wrote. So there you go. Welcome to the Daft Hour. Technically, Da-da. week 15. It's, it's, yeah, it's technically week 15. Um, however long we've been affiliated with this uh, company, it's probably a lot longer than oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We uh, keep having holidays and I think and it's... Just, I was just listening to the song underneath. I think it's... Um, Do-do! Yeah, it's the... I can't, I can't remember the official Is name Is it the Space it. Odyssey one? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. It's Ric Flair's theme music, if you Rick, like res- yep. wrestling. Um, so, yeah, like uh, Bambi said, welcome to the Daft Hour with... Myself, Morgan Fantastic. And myself, Bambi Rashid. Bambi Rashid. We haven't got a guest today. Um, just because we haven't. Because nobody likes nobody us. Nobody likes us. Um, I'd say tweet us at hashtag the daft hour, but you usually don't, so don't bother. And uh, oh, They're going to come flooding in now. Well, if you tell them, yeah. it's reverse yeah, psychology. Don't tell them it. not just to. Just they might, do might tweet. Never, never do it. Ooh. No. 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 It said one new tweet and it was the one I'd sent. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody no. tweeted us. So, yeah, tweeted, tweeted myself, didn't I? Yeah, you did. So, yeah, um, we've got a show. Uh, this is the last show for a while, isn't it? Yes, I believe we're going to be off for a month. Yeah, we've been a bit um, daft with our shows recently. We're here and then we're not, and then we're here and they're not. But this time, um, it's not anything to do with us. It's uh, the, the station uh, having a special month. 
Yes. So, so we're, we're not going to be here broadcasting, but we'll be back soon and we'll keep you informed. With a vengeance. With a vengeance. And uh, we'll keep you informed about that. So, Bambi. Actually, with the v- Avengers, I'm going to come back with the Avengers. Ooh, which ones? Um, The one that isn't really there, the ones that aren't there, like Spider-Man. Yeah, that's and because... Um, Ant-Man. Ant-Man's coming into it. Ah, uh, Banana-Man. Banana-Man is not Marvel. Spider-Man can't because he's affiliated with a different company. Uh, uh, um, Man-Man. Banana Man. Man Man. Ba- Banana Man. Wasn't it... Uh, didn't we have confusion on the last show with Banana Man? Because um, our guest... Uh, what was his name? Nimrod Sexton. <laughs> he fun. thought um, Banana Man was actually a banana. Oh, well... He's a bit of a Nimrod, isn't he? He was a bit of a Sexton, yes. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, we'll be back with all the Avengers, <laughs> including Banana Man. None of the real good ones, though. No, no. no, no not like... No f- Iron Man or anything like that. Not Thor with his hammer. No, nah. big. He's got a big hammer in. Silly Thor. So, um, so yeah. So we got stuff coming up on our show. Stuff to talk about, as always. Nonsense. 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 So yeah, no. no non. S- do you get it? No sense. That's why that word exists, isn't it? It's nonsense. Non-sense. Yeah, because yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. But why does the word flammable mm. mean the same as inflammable or inflammable, whatever it is? They're the same thing. They both mean flammable. Both mean don't set fire to this because it'll inflammable. burn. Inflammable. In, inflammable. 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 Yeah. Inflammable means it, it won't get flammable. Won't get fat. <laughs> it won't get fat. Yeah. This is an inflammable donut. So uh, I'm inflammable. You are. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not totally inflammable. Like I'm going to inject lard into your. I've got a couple face. of bits of uh, porky bits, but I eat, I eat quite a lot. But I'm not massively. I'm going to test. Yeah, I'm going to inject um, like pure pork fat into your face. Can you just inject pork? No. Hmm. It's time for the news, I think. Oh, the real news. The re- uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the real news. The yeah. news take two. Yeah. Um, you probably came into the show hearing the news, expecting the news. See which bit we're going to play but, now. Um, what, yeah. What's going to happen I now? hope it's the news. I'll probably end up playing the end of the news. Yeah, let's listen. See what happens. Yep. What oh, is the news? Well done. Why am I turning my mic down? I need that. Yeah, you do. I'll turn your Got some good ones this week. Have you, uh, have you done some research? Ah, uh, ten minutes or so. Ah, uh, that's enough. Yeah, yeah. Any more is just self indulgent, isn't it? <laughs> of the news, not yeah. me. Yeah. Morgan Fantastics News. Louis Suarez is a cannibal. A speeding horse caught by German highway cam. Russian pizza delivery chain delivers pizza from the sky. Student trapped in massive vagina. One minute parking causes havoc in San Francisco. Pet pig saves family from fire. Octopus causes traffic in London. Bear rests in a hammock. I am your mayor. Vader going for office. Darth Vader. Oh, oh seagulls, seagulls in the studio again. Get rid of those seagulls. Before we carry on, where are we transmitting from? Oh, today... An absolute oven, I suspect. Um, just an oven. Yeah, an oven. No particular oven, just an oven. Oven in the bowels of hell. Check your oven. If we're in there, give us a wave. Mm. Have you left? A, have you ever left a baby in the oven? Happens quite often, that. No, it doesn't. It is. I've, I've been on a couple of dates recently, and they're going, Oh, no, I've, I've, I'm really sorry I have to go. I've left my baby in the oven. No, they're lying to you. They're making excuses to get away from you. I know, because one of my questions was, Do you have children? And they said no. Yeah, they lied. So, they didn't go to was a bit anyway, suspicious. The, the news, right? What's the first one? Luis Suarez is a cannibal. Ah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard about that? Though? Yeah. Yeah, he bit him. Mr. Bitey. For the third occasion, I think he's done it. Maybe he just likes long pig. I don't know. I know he's got some horrible teeth, but there's something wrong with him mentally, I think. Um, but I think there's going to be repercussions this time. I think he'll get banned from the competition. And rightfully so. Yes. Ah, right, you were so. dead good when you scored against England. But guess what? You're a cannibal. And you can't play anymore. Um, the next one was... Yeah, this is a story about a horse uh, yep. in, in Germany and the speed the speed limit of the horse. Yeah. Uh, sorry, the speed limit of this road is 30 miles per hour. And this horse broke power. Well, the speed... The, well, the horse was running down the road on its own, so it must have had a getaway or something. Yeah. But um, it was clocked at 36 miles per hour. That's and pretty fast for a horse. And was given a ticket. <laughs> Where did they put the ticket? Where's its... Where's its uh, I think on its hooves or something. On its hooves, right. Mm. But yeah, so that horse is in trouble. Um, this is Russian. Pe- is the horse? Sorry, is the horse going to pay his fine? I think the owner of the horse, if it's got an owner. What if it? What if it's like a wild horse? 
Um, well, I bet the the horseshoes cost a lot, so maybe just take take it out. With take them. them out with that. Yeah, scrap like weigh them in for scrap. Weigh them in for scrap. Yeah, right. or sell the horse for glue. Yeah. Um, Russian pizza delivery chain delivers pizza from the sky. Basically, um, they're testing out drones. <laughs> delivering pizza? Yeah. This isn't real. It is. I've seen the video. The Russians are testing out drones delivering pizza. Well, no, not the Russians themselves. I don't think it's funded by the government. But oh, right. So it's there's just there's one, there's one pizza delivery chain. Domino's Russia. <laughs> I don't know if it's Domino's. I think there's other pizza chains available in no, Russia. No. It's only Domino's. But um, basically, this one chain is testing out drones and delivering the pizzas from, from the air. That's amazing. Yeah, I've seen I the video. It's quite weird. I don't think you can be that precise, precise really, can you? Well, I don't know, yeah. It's get your, does it knock on the door as well? I presumed, I presumed that the uh, the pizza... Well, you have to prepare for the pizza. Yeah, well, you, you know what? I don't, I don't think I'd pay until my pizza got <laughs> delivered. I wouldn't be too happy with, like, a dropped pizza. Well, you know? yeah, is it, do the, does, the, does it go down or does it just <laughs> drop it on the, on the lawn? Or what? I'm hoping it, like, hovers down and knocks on your door. Well, the video I saw, it was quite high. And what do you tip a drone? <laughs> a bit of oil. A <laughs> bit of fuel, I'm not it's sure. Well, I quite works. like the I, idea. I want to know f- more about this. Huh? I want to know more. I just watched the video and read no. a bit about no, it. I want full. T- I want. I want a pizza <laughs> <laughs> delivered by a drone. Hmm. It's basically and not a droning it's the same, that delivers you pizza. Same concept of like a helicopter. Yeah, so yeah. It's got the the what the, the spinny things. Spinny yeah. things. Wind turbines. <laughs> yeah, wind, yeah, that's right. The wings. You're, you're on a winner here. Yeah. I'm, I'm not an, uh, someone who practices Knows uh, anything. flight. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's got a propeller. Yeah, well done. Um, and then it's got, like, the hand, hands of the droid is, like, carrying the pizza. Good. Um, and it just I just saw it in the air. This is great. Hmm. I, I want this to happen more. I want this to happen. I, want it, I don't want it to just be pizza, because that's ridiculous. What if you want a healthier alternative? What if you want an apple? A single apple, freshly yeah, delivered a by bit, a drone. It's a bit much to have for, yeah, delivery. Well, maybe... Maybe uh, supermarkets will start doing it. Yeah, and delivering your shopping, just shopping bags and just the dropping them <laughs> through your roof. But you can't, you can't get any tins or jars because that could that would be dangerous. Someone. That wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't think they'd use bags though in case they split on the. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, you, oh, sorry, you, you lost your eggs, love. Well, sorry. the eggs are already smashed from S- dropping. From says height. the drone. Says the drone. Yeah, and uh, we lost half the stuff from the bag splitting. I think they're just testing it out, but it's a nice idea. The next one, um, student trapped in massive vagina. Yep, yeah, seen that. Enough said. Have Idiot. you seen it? I've seen the picture. Yeah. Oh, have you? Yeah, I know you've seen it, but th- remember, we're not just having a chat in the pub here. Yeah. I know you can't just yeah, seen it, moved on. <laughs> okay. We've got listeners here who, ma- wa- who might want to know the story. You can't just go yeah, I've heard about that. Let's well, move on. I'm, I know you know. Well, I'll tell you what. Put more detail in your actual story, not this chat. This I've just, we just no, talked. No, 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 no. This we chat. just talked for ten minutes about a Russian I'm pizza. I'm interested in pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Russians no, or droids. No, no, no. It's just because I mentioned pizza. And I'm hungry. And I'm hungry. Yeah. Should we Can order a pizza? Yeah, is there any droid from Russia? <laughs> droid delivery systems um, in the area. Yeah, hey, okay, yeah. For the listeners, All right, then. this is. Well, I don't know where. Is it America? Was it in America? I don't know. You're, I you're think it was in America. Of course it was. It. Basically, some student. Uh, there, there was an art gallery and this piece was outside. And it's basically um, a statue of a vagina. Um. And he climbed into it to get like a, a funny photo or something, and he got his leg caught, and bas- basically he's, he's he, he got stuck in it, and it took forty three firemen, forty three firemen to get to get him out of it. That's amazing. And apparently he was stuck in there for like a good like t- ten hours. There's so many puns I'm trying not to make right now. I know. Now. Well, no, obviously we've got to keep it clean, but um, yes, yeah, this massive statue. 43 firemen yeah so that, was, so that was good that made me laugh the photograph is quite funny he got a funny photograph by well, all means with him and but 43 firemen <laughs> yeah all the smiling uh, thumbs up and a giant what you call it yeah you wow. can you know like say vagina I don't want to that's uh, it no please I'll say the wrong word carry on <laughs> <laughs> um, San Francisco yeah um, basically uh, uh, there was a typo error on one of the signs right in a parking area and it was supposed to say one hour parking but they put a sign saying one minute parking <laughs> so basically um <laughs> so the, ca- the cars were parking up they're the fastest shoppers in the world mm. though, right? but obviously the security staff in the area 
took uh, advantage of this and fined everyone. They're they, silly boys. They kept fining everyone for it. And um, so, yes, yeah, so basically, it, the, their council or whatever their government body is yeah. acknowledged the fact that it was a typo error, but they still charged everyone for staying over the minute. That's silly bureaucracy. But, um, yeah, so next time you park anywhere, double check the sign. Is it a minute or is it an hour? An hour, or is it one year? Yeah. You could park there for a year. Um, Pet Pig saves family from fire. Good. Apparently he just he squealed until... He didn't, like, save them, save them, just squealed and woke them up. And the smell of cooking bacon mm. woke them up as yeah, well. Yeah, I wake up when I can smell bacon. Yeah. Um, I like this one. Octopus causes traffic in London. Um, do you remember the last... Was it giving directions? You know, like <laughs> yeah, when yeah. the copper stands in the, yeah. uh, the four-way. To They'd be really good at, you know, of air traffic Direct. control. Yeah, yeah. With the... M- m- or maybe the, there'd be a lot of crashes, won't there? How many uh, hearts does an octopus have? I don't know. Just have a guess. Two. Nah, that's three. Hmm. Just thought I'd put it up there because I learnt that in a pub quiz lately. Really? And if we uh, we listened to our friend Ara, who gave that correct answer, we would have won the quiz. We should have listened to it. We should have. Yeah. She she's the type of woman who does know about octopuses. Hearts. She does. I wouldn't have questioned that. Sorry. Um. He. The so octopus did what? Sorry. It caused trap. Basically, what happened? It wasn't a real octopus. It was um. It was a life size. Fake, a fake octopus. octopus. Yeah, and basically, it was. You remember the last World Cup in South Africa, and they had a mascot, and it was this octopus, and he predicted all the outcomes yeah. of the matches. And, and to be honest, got was that lo- not the German World Cup? No, no, that was a long time. ago. Long, long time. Ago. Yeah, it was the last. I'm an old man now. Uh, they've got, now they've got a turtle, I think, this time round. <laughs> And I don't think he's got anything right. Well... But the octopus got quite a few right. He didn't get all of them right, obviously, but he, I, can't, I think it was Psy. He was called Psy, the psychic octopus, I think. Right. And basically... Um, he got quite uh, it was a, a music, career, music career. He did. Career, didn't he? he did. He made uh, Gangnam Style not yeah. long after that. Yeah. So, he looked but, a bit different then. Yeah. Must have had some surgery. He, well, yeah. I think he's a Kore- Korean. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. So, um, anyway, this octopus um, was being used in a betting shop in London as promotional work right. for, the obviously, the bets of this World Cup. Hmm. So, big, massive octopus. Anyway, the truck that was carrying the octopus broke down oh, right in the worst area for oh, traffic in London word. on peak times, and basically no one could get to work or get back from work or get anywhere in this this area of London because of this octopus. Well, what we've learned from this little story is you should check your engine before you set off anywhere with fake or real octopi. Yes. I don't think the octopus was in the engine. Then what was the problem? It just... It's not really the octopus's fault. So don't blame it's the more, It's more the van. That People like you that give octopuses a bad name. I know, but the storyline was about the octopus, but... It's I a don't lie, th- isn't it? Well, it's not. It's the driver's fault. It's not the, the driver's fault. The van's fault, isn't it's it? It's definitely but not the octopus. Van fault. breaks down in London is not really news. Neither really is the octopus, no, but I it's did. better than nothing. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I like this one. Go on. The bear rests in a hammock. This is in uh, Daytona in uh, Florida. And basically, the family were looked out of their uh, of their house yeah. uh, out the window as you do uh, and they've got a hammock in their garden <laughs> there was a bear in the hammock and there was a bear laid in the hammock oh my word and I don't mean just like laid in the hammock he was sat up as if he was like sunbathing did he have a six pack in one hand it, one I paw I wish so but he did have his like paws around his like groin area as if he was awesome. chilling and just the bear was just and obviously they didn't disturb him apparently he was there chilling for a good few hours yeah you don't really disturb bears f- look for that story in line there's a really funny photo of that bear wow in the uh, in the hammock he looked happy as Larry who's Larry why is he happy no one knows but everyone used that term happy bear happy bear maybe that yeah, happy Larry, as Larry, Larry is, is Larry the happy bear it's absolutely and uh, the last one this one's quite weird I am your mayor basically Darth Vader is going for office <laughs> in Kiev <laughs> In Ukraine, okay? Yeah. Um, he's going for the mayor of Kiev because he just recently didn't win the poll for the presidency. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. It's not the actor who plays Darth Vader. Because he's a farmer. It's basically a guy in a suit but doesn't take the suit off and no one knows his real alias. So it's actually just... He's going forward as Darth Vader. Wow. I think it's actually... Um, um, 
I, sh- I don't know if I should really say this in it. I think I know who it is. Sandy Toxvic. Right. Is actually the person in the suit. Who's that? Oh my word. Do you watch QI? Is it the lesbian? Yeah. Is it the one who does the... The, the uh, short lady. The short lady. Blonde hair. Does the horse pundits? No. Oh, the comedian. American. Canadian. No. no. Doesn't matter. Move on. Is she on whose line is it anyway? Maybe once, but... I know who you're on about. <laughs> you really don't. Well, Why is it her? I don't. I just made it up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I got too involved. You did. Um, but yes, yeah, so basically, that, it really, it really amused me how, like, a they allowed it. It's stupid. And they don't know anything about the person behind it. But it, th- as far as they're aware, it's Darth Vader. Couldn't you just force his way into power? He could have. Yeah. It force. He could have. Yeah. Yeah. Double meaning. He forced it. But Ukraine turned it down. Oh well. But you know, if Darth, I suppose if Ukraine want Darth Vader, it's no worse than Russia having Putin. No, uh, no. So about the same. About the same level. Only of one dark of them has a real Death Star, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. Russia. Yeah, obviously. Um, and that was the news. What music are you going to play now? <coughs> Morgan Fantastic News. Well done, you got that right. I uh, know. So uh, I liked the news this week. Did it was you? good news. It, it was, was good. I really, really want that drone. <laughs> I know. Let's find out. I read. I, to be honest, I really want pizza more than the drone. Pizza drone. <laughs> yeah. Let's play a track. Um, I've got one here. I don't really know what the song is, but I'm, I'm trust your judgment since you selected it. So oh I'll dear. Play. This is a Ambassadors of Funk with <laughs> Super Mario Land. Yeah. Is it the Super Mario Land song from the eighty nineties? Uh, yeah. F- f- all right. Well, this will be fun. It won't, but we'll listen anyway. Okay. Oh, that was awful. It was, wasn't it? That but was really it, awful. It really amused me. Was that a, was that on a release track? Yeah, I believe it would have been around about ninety three or something like that. It was. Uh, I remember having it on an old Now album, which was like Now yeah. twenty two or something. Yeah. Um, and it, I giggled to myself when I found it last night. Jeez Louise! Like, cause basically, it's just the the music from the game with jazzed up with some rap. rapping. Yeah, terrible rap. Wow. I know. Yeah. Probably produced by Simon Cole. I reckon it was. That that's really unnerved me. Yeah, it's good. I've got another cracker for you later as well. Have you? Yeah. Look forward to that. Not. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, unusual animal friends. Oh, here we go. We still don't have a. No, we don't have a theme, do we? Oh. Oh, oh well. Um, I don't. I've I've gone for a mix today. Ooh, today. I don't actually have an unusual animal friend story. Ooh, what was that? I think that was an unusual animal friend trying to get in the window. Was that? Was that, was that a cry for help? I think it was Banana Man. <laughs> when Eric eats a banana. Um, so yeah, basically, what I did was I found research on unusual animal names. Okay. So basically, when... Obviously, a lot of animals have already been, redis- have already been discovered. Not rediscovered. Re- they didn't lose... Oh, lose oh, 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 there they are. are. Yeah. Um, I'm sure animals are rediscovered, but... When scientists discover a new type of animal, yeah. obviously most of the animals of the world have been discovered already, so they kind of run out of names for things. Oh, yeah, yeah. So when it's like a different type of a certain animal, they just give them... I think the scientists are having a laugh, to be honest with you. Well, you can name it what you want if you find well, it. Well, yeah, you can, it's the same when they find planets and they, they name all them also. If I find a new animal, I'm going to call it Flinky Flonk. Flinky Flonk. Well, I've got a few like that, to be honest. Excellent. Um... I've got the... So, basically, I found a few. See which ones you like. Um, I'll give you a bing un- if I like it and a uh, if I don't. Okay, you, c- you can actually... A couple of them are pretty self-explanatory, but you can guess what, what some of them are. Okay. Uh, the ice cream corn worm. Bing! It's a worm. That's a worm. I like that. But the ice cream corn worm. It does look like an ice cream corn. Excellent. Does it taste like one? Uh, I wouldn't know. I'll try. Uh, maybe with a flake. The spiny lump sucker... Uh, I don't like that. Is that some kind of fish? It's kind of like, um, yeah, but it's like one of those, you know, that live on... In urch- urchins. In urchin, yeah, An like enemy. in corals. But it's technically a fish, I think. Ooh, But no. it, it literally it looks like a rock and it's all spiny. Nah, I'm not a fan. Spiny lump sucker. No. It's a good name, though, isn't it? It is. The pink fairy armadillo. Oh, bing! 
think that sounds really rude. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> but if you look at it, it is pink and fairy. It is just an armadillo. But I'm it's guessing. an armadillo. Yeah, and also the screaming hairy armadillo. Oh, I'm undecided on that one. The screaming hairy, hairy armadillo. No, I don't like this. Uh, don't yeah. like the sound of that one. I, I, it, I don't know if it screams or not, but it is hairy. I hope it is screaming. Uh, maybe it's just going, ah, give me a different name. Yeah. Gerald. Uh, um, the... <laughs> The tasseled womb. <laughs> what? The tasseled womb wobble. Oh, I can't even say it. <laughs> oh, here we go. The tasseled wobble gong. Bing! That's amazing. Now that's the tasseled got, wobble gong. Is that some kind womble of gong. Um, primate? Some monkey? Nope, you're wrong. Oh, what is the it? The tasseled then? womble gong is a shark. That I would not be afraid of. That. Oh, look out for the tasseled womble, womble gong. gong. <laughs> <laughs> the new Jaws film. <laughs> Wobblegum. Yeah. No, I couldn't be afraid of that. <laughs> it's a good name. Hellbender. Shut up. <laughs> Bing, that's amazing. Uh, no, that has got to be a bird. No, it's what a it? salamander. Oh, so, uh, they're a lizardy type lizardy creature, thing, aren't yeah. they? Wow. Hellbender. Hell- now, that's a strong name. Hellbender. You don't mess with that guy in the animal that's pub. That's it. That's a film that Nicholas Cage should be in. He's writing it right now. Hellbender. I can tell it. I, can I tell. think he was a bit of a hellbendering uh, ghost rider. He's a hellbender, yeah. Um, but yeah, I like that. And uh, mustache, must- <laughs> <laughs> mustache puff bird. Is, Aww, it's a book that's bird. nice. Do you like that? Bing, I like that one. Mustache puff bird. It's a, really mind you, it depends what kind of mustache. If it's like a Hitler one, no. <laughs> if it's more of a Burt Reynolds one, hey, oh, that's well, pretty there, cool. was, there was that um, viral thing going around on the internet as well, and it was basically um, animals that look like Hitler. <laughs> yeah, there's the you cat, see, isn't it? That's the brilliant. cat, and it's basically, he's got like, uh, obviously, the, the Hitler tash, but there's quite a few animals, and obviously just the way they're the colour of their fur and that's got yeah. makes them look like they've got Hitler tash. Did you ever see the teapot that looked like Hitler? No. Was it it wasn't his face, was it? Yeah, the, the tash and the hair. Um <laughs> it, it's quite funny. Google search it. I think it's a teapot or a kettle. Something the, like yeah, that. it's quite it's quite funny in the picture obviously nothing to do with Hitler is funny. No. We're not going that route, obviously. But the picture of the cat is laid on its back doing a salute at <laughs> the same time. <laughs> oh, oh. oh dear. Uh, so maybe he came back. In an animal form, so yeah, that was it. Was an unusual animal friends as it usually yeah. is, but it was unusual animal names this I week. I went that. for a different route. Um, yeah, so what was your favourite out of all them? Oh, um, the Hellbender. That's Hellbender. just amazing. I like Tassel Wobble Go. Yeah, just I like because it you can't see it. It's a shark. <laughs> yeah, no Hellbender. Cool. All right, I'm quite happy about that today. Good, good, good. good. Um, let's let's go with another segment. Ooh, what segment? You'll you'll see. Okay. Dislike of the week. We we went from something rather positive to a negative, of which course, is something we have to do on we this show. We balance it out here. Yeah. Go on. I think you should go first this time. Are my you dearie. sure? Yeah. I always go first. I went. Okay then. I don't like it when you get the opening track wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, are we? No, no. I am absolutely furious. You usually, uh, Come on, Bambi, you usually have to prepare something before the show, and you've just winged this. I have. <laughs> so no. that's why that's going to be my like of the week, because <laughs> I didn't have to think of it. <laughs> have, you, have you got nothing else? Is it that really no, you No, that is it. I just like that you got the opening track wrong. Okay. No, okay, okay. I'm sure this is one I've, I've said before. I just do not like ignorant people. You have said it before. Oh, and I'll say it I'm, again. I'm, I'm happy you'd say it, because... It, it, it's got to be out, put out there. It happened again today in the place I work. What People happened? Just, Tell me. Just, oh, just not making eye contact or mm. not even acknowledging you. And some yeah. Sometimes horrible. I don't like to make eye contact just because maybe I'm a Because you're afraid you'll fall in love with me. I know. I'm just scared. Do you know what? I'm really... Bizarre mm. stuff happens to me. Yeah. So if I don't make eye contact, bizarre some f- stuff won't happen. Ah, well, I don't know. So I try to avoid it sometimes. It depends what mood I'm in. If I'm in a good mood, I'll give you eye contact. We live, we live in a closed-off world with things like Facebook and Twitter, mm. hashtag the daft hour. Anyway, <laughs> so I think when you're with people, you should be with people. Oh, no. If, yeah, definitely. That said, I will. if I go into a shop um, or somewhere, I will have my headphones on quite often. Mm, well, maybe you're ignorant. No, I definitely am in that sense. <laughs> but, no, but when I get to the counter and... Whatever, I 
take them off and acknowledge, yeah, def- acknowledge no, definitely the people. You should do that, yeah. So, mm. but there you go. There, there's my. Did uh, you did you murder them? Oh uh, yeah. Didn't. Okay, if you heard that on the radio, that was a first. And, I didn't. Really, uh, I didn't. I didn't do for it for the police. They're still alive. Out there, the, um, the ignorant people of this area. Coming to still the alive. studio, you can get him. He's right here. We're going to be here till half six. This is your time, your opportunity, or he will disappear. Like a vampire. <laughs> okay, um, mine is. It's kind of the same thing, but two separate things. It's basically people on social networking, or people just say it in everyday life, using certain quotes to fit their needs. Okay. For instance, the one that really gets on my nerves is uh, the Shakespeare quote, to be or not to be. Oh, yeah. That is the question. When they're asking you whether she oh, get a or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, should I go out tonight? That is the question. Should I get a pat? Well, that is the question. It's not the question, is it? It's a decision that you have to make and no one else cares about. Okay. And I just think, come on. Shakespeare what? is Shakespeare, and I think people use that too much. What if you're, like, uh, you use Facebook a lot and uh-huh. people expect you to be there and you just pop to the shops, is it okay to write, I'll be back? Is that okay? Yeah, but... Terminator is not Shakespeare. Ah, how very dare you! <laughs> <laughs> They're of the same quality. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Which which Terminator? Terminator Two. One? Terminator Two is the best. Though, it isn't it, it is. But okay. Yeah. No. I, I will. Yeah. Which I, is unlikely, actually, isn't it? Because usually the sequels aren't as good as the first. But Terminator Two, Judgment Day. Although the best name of a sequel I've ever known is the Chipmunks, uh, and it's called the Squeakle, <laughs> and that made me laugh so much. I'm glad it made you laugh, but the chipmunks I'm sure the in film general. Didn't. Oh no, I've never seen him. But uh, obviously, that title was very funny. Make me sigh a lot. I think nice. that's my reaction to the chipmunks. Just well, like, a, like the guy who did Gangnam chip- Style and the Octopus. <laughs> yeah, I sighed a lot to that. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, to be or not to be. All right, I've never. That's never bothered me. I've never given it thought me. because it's never anything relevant, and it's nah. always it's always something rubbish. Face- Facebook should I wear? Should, oh, should I wear? Should I wear a dress tonight? That is the question. Facebook isn't relevant. It's not a question. It's a decision you need to make. If yeah. if they turn around and said, should I get a palm or? Yeah, that is a question. That is a question. They're just stating it. Well, I know technically to be or not to be is a question, but that is the question. Is it's just just don't use it. All right. <laughs> it annoys me. Other well, Shakespeare quotes are available. <laughs> yeah, well, people use that as well, don't uh, people? Um, I, not many people do it. It's usually actors. Um, you know the whole, the world is a stage. Well, the world is a stage. Yeah. Shut up. Blooming actors, eh? And um, I know I'm... Oh, yeah, uh, you're one of them. One you? of them, yeah. <laughs> um, also, the keep calm and carry on. Oh, that's another one that's really got really popular over the last... Yes, keep calm and shop. Keep calm and be a consumer. Keep calm and do something oh, ridiculous. They took that yeah. and just made it worldwide phenomenon, and now it's just getting ridiculous. One that we saw... There's one... You know, there's some cool ones where, like, they try to fit it into... Like, make it into a bit more fashionable, like the whole um, zombie phenomenon that's yeah. going on at the moment. So there's, like... There keep, aren't zombies, it's just the keep obsession calm with zombies, I'm assuming. Yeah, no, yeah, the or obsession. Or is, is there zombies? Um, there was that one in America, wasn't there? The, the guy who bit a tramp's face off. Wow. Did you read Oh, that? they won a while back. Yeah, it was like last year and he took... He, he was on... He was, he was on some drugs, wasn't he? He was he so wasn't like something. Yeah, it was like some medic... I don't know, he took something. But mm. not like drugs. He just... He, he, he took Nicolas Cage. He, 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 yeah, he became um, in that much of a state... He wasn't alive, apparently. It's craziness. So he's, he technically was a zombie. Wow. I don't know if they've scientifically proven it, but he bit a homeless... Well, why did the homeless man let him eat his face? He's always got no better to do. True. Um, but yeah, the keep calm and carry on, like, just like keep calm and be a zombie. and <laughs> You know, and stuff like that, I get, but the people who just use it all the time. Silly. It's became, but now, like, when I lived in... Um, America, um, it's become so um, about our culture now. Right? They it's, assume that's what we're all about. They assume it's it's become so such a phenom- phenomenon da, 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 da. with with our culture that it's it's up there with like the the royal family. Wow. With the, the that that just that quote alone. Was it a royal quote though? 
Was it a wartime court? I think it was. Was it was not it from Churchill? A film? I don't know. I might be wrong. Was it Queen Churchill? I don't think it was Queen Churchill, the dog. <laughs> but um, I, I have a feeling it was Churchill. I might be wrong. If I am wrong, I, I am. I think it was stating royal, I am because wrong. they have the royal crown on the, Maybe. the original. Well, either way, it's become our slogan now, and the fact it's just overused, and I hate people who use it. And there's one I saw the. Well, other, just the, keep calm and do some radio. <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> the one I saw the other day was keep calm and zumba. That's not calm. I, I wouldn't be calm doing zumba. No. I'd probably have an aneurysm. I might be calm once I've passed out. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I wouldn't be. If, I would be nervous about the fact I was going to zumba. Yeah. Keep calm and zumba. I was like, don't, don't t-. and to be honest, I don't like. I'm naturally don't like being told what to do. I'm quite a rebel. So when people go, oh, it's like you know when you're in a mood all the time, right? And either a family member or the missus or someone goes, oh, calm, d- calm down. It makes you more angry. Yeah, like the Hulk. Yeah. So if anyone out there, listeners, says you calm down, it's annoying, isn't it? When you're in a mood, the last thing you want to hear is just calm down. It annoys you more. What about chill out? Chill out, that's just as bad. So, uh, effectively, this slogan is a national slogan that is effectively telling you to calm down. Yeah. So if you don't like your your family or anyone saying you calm down, this is on a broader scale where even the Americans think that this is what we're about, is telling us to all calm down. That's the biggest... I think I found the biggest dislike ever. Wow. This That's could the, go the biggest on annoyance ever. I won't calm down. Okay. And I, and I bloody won't carry on. Okay. Well, are, are we done? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I am, yeah. Good. But yeah, that's, that was a dislike of the week. I got more angry as I, as I discovered what the actual true meaning of that was. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. Wow. Should we play a song to calm, I think we calm should. me down? I'll tell you which one to play. Um, Is it the Doctor Spin one? Yeah. Is that Okay. You like that one. Well, I like it. Yeah, you liked okay. Mario, didn't you? Will it effectively calm me down? Did you like Mario? No. Oh. Yeah, play it. Okay. This will be fun. Oh, I have a bad feeling now. Huh? Oh, what? It's not. But there's always the tennis. Tennis is a sport. Tennis. Do you look like Keith Chegwin? Because if you do, we want to hear from you. Because we're going to laugh in your face. Ha ha ha. Warning, your Keith Chegwin may be repossessed if you don't keep up your repayment on your Keith Chegwin. Why not come on down to Pollard's Pun House? We have puns for every and any occasion. Even if you don't think it needs one, we've got it. We'll tell you it, and you'll listen. Do you have any questions that can't be answered by friends or family? Or do you need advice on what to wear? Then you should give Jack a call. Oh, hi, Jack. Yes? I hope you can help. I can't decide on what to buy my girlfriend for her birthday. Do you have any advice on that? Jack, man boy? OK, thank you, Jack. Yes? Remember... If you don't have the answers, then you don't have Jack. Jack Mumbley! Calls are charged at one million pounds a minute. Well, it's one for the money. One for the money. Ooh, who's that? Is that Elvis? There's Elvis there. A brand new concept in computer gaming. There's Elvis. There's Elvis. Over 25 exciting levels. There's Elvis there. Elvis. The best thing since sliced. Elvis? Is that you? Elvis. All new multiplayer. There is Elvis. 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 The computer game. Not available anywhere. Oh, I am the doctor. Doctor. And when I'm in the middle spread, I like to listen to the Daft Tower. So, how did you like the uh, the Tetris song? Uh, that was terrible. It was, wasn't it? I love it. 
but it did remind me of a, a, a dear friend, Owen Hems, uh, who works at this station. And I've got a little story for you about that. And basically... Oh, hang on. Why don't you leave that for story time? No, it's only a brief story. Oh, okay. And basically, um, when we were on holiday in Greece once, yeah. Owen came out with a shirt which can only be described as a Tetris shirt. <laughs> um, it was bright orange and it had, like, the blocks of Tetris on it. And he wore it one night for a night out and it was it was atrocious. Well, yeah. But the whole night, as we got drunker and drunker, we just sang the Tetris theme wow. constantly all night as if it was a football chant. It was very beautiful. But that dance version didn't cheer me up in the slightest no absolutely awful um we heard some adverts there it was nice to see jack mumble way back yeah it was nice he popped around uh the other day mm. and i uh, said oh how was your new business going he was oh, it's going okay but in his accent i'm not going to do that mm. i'd be insensitive but um i said how was your new business going he said yeah it's good but can you help me with an advert I said yeah of course i will and we put that together for him very nice and also there was a nice message from uh, the doctor himself yeah at the very end... That's uh, all of the Doctors. Was that all of the yeah. Doctors? Yeah. That's well, all of them. Well, they're all the same person, technically. Yeah. So that was uh, Matt Smith as well as the new Doctor. Yeah. Um, who is uh, name that I can't remember. That's good. Neither can I. What's his name? Um, I think it's... Uh, Sim from um, oh, what's it called? Oh, what's his name? Hey, hey, I hate when they say what's his name. Ah, we'll call him eh? Eric. What's his name? Eric, the Doctor Who. Darts. He was on the thick. Was it the, the thick of it? Yeah, he is. Yeah, you know his name. I don't know his name. You do I know his name. <laughs> you not tell him. I don't. I'm tell me. I don't. What's his name? I, don't know I know it. Go on then. But I don't. Wait right, a second. Know. Yeah, but then you don't know it. All right, it was Matt Smith. Um, <laughs> Who um, seems to sound a bit camper in um, in real life? Okay, um, can we play the story time jingle? I've remembered one. Oh, is it? yeah, sure. Okay. Have you got, have you got one? Like, yeah, it's only a really short one. Okay. Now it's time for stories on the Daft Hour. See now, now I'm about to tell that. I can't remember if I've told it. But here we go. Um, I'll tell. I'll be. I'll tell you. I've told it to you. I'm pretty sure it's about the time I I got home from work, and uh, there's a few friends already waiting there for me because I used to live with my brother, and you let them in, and we're all just getting ready to play some Xbox, watch some telly, and I get in from work and I sit down, and then after a moment or two, I think I've had a little trouser accident <laughs> from the back, <laughs> and I think why has this happened? Because I can just feel this kind of warm sensation. Why is this? You haven't happened? discussed this. Right. Yeah. Done. Why has this happened? I've never done it before. I'm not a Pollard. It doesn't happen to me. So why on earth have I had a little trouser accident? And I'm sat there thinking, right, I've got a m- room full of friends. What am I going to do? At some point, I'm going to have to stand up. So about ten minutes, and it still hadn't cooled down. I was like, this is really strange. I thought, right, I'm just going to have to go with this and stand up and see what happens. And I stand up. And much to my relief, I was just sat on the power pack of a, <laughs> of a laptop. <laughs> That's all it was. I thought I'd pooped. Aww. But I hadn't. There you go, there's my story. I hope you enjoyed your stories. <laughs> okay, I've, I've got a story on the same... Okay, you've got to do this. There you go. <laughs> now Similar it's time to what for you stories on the daft hour. But there isn't a happy ending at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I know. Well, basically, I... Uh, th- that similar situation happened to me. Um, I woke up, was getting ready to go to work, um, and, and I, I just went in the shower, um, got out the shower, and uh, was putting my clothes on on the end of the bed. And I was halfway putting on my uh, underwear. Yeah. And I, oh, I, the only item of clothing, I know it's getting a bit racy, and I'm, I can imagine you're all getting a bit excited out there at the front. I think they're this. keeping calm and I was, carrying on. I was, uh, I was only in my socks. And anyway, I did a trouser accident, and that was an actual trouser accident. Oopsie. Um, and a back one. <laughs> and um, the worst thing was, I wasn't ill. Um, what were you doing? Was, I hadn't been drinking. I was there was nothing wrong with me, which was weirder. Um, I had to obviously clean it up, and the wor- the worst part about it was is that um, my family member downstairs didn't realise as I put the bedding oh. 
Aww. and the car, the rug from my room, Aww. as well as towels, all in the wash at the same time. It's a really curious wash. That you must have had a lot of backlog there. Excuse mm. the pun. It was it. It wasn't very nice, pleasant, and um, it made me late for work. And I got to work, and I was thinking, oh, what should I? I was coming up with excuses like why I was late because you know I'm quite a relaxed person. I'm late for work quite often. But it was getting to the point now where, like, I couldn't really come up with anything else. So I was thinking, oh, what should I say? I'll just say, oh, traffic or what? But they know I don't drive. Yeah. But obviously, you know, I still get, like, cars there and stuff. But there was, I was trying to think of everything. And anyway, my, my manager was like, why are, you, why are you late? And I just told her. Yeah, well, honesty is the best policy. I didn't I didn't want to tell her. But just came I just, out, did it? I just came out for the like second, the, second like the time in that day. Yeah. yeah. And uh, her answer, well, her, her comeback to that was, right, right, okay, yeah. um, get to work. <laughs> I, I would have probably made you wash your hands again. Yeah, of course I did that. But how, how can you, how can you, like, say anything to that? Well. So I didn't get any trouble. I don't know what to say now. So from, from, that, from then on, any time I was late, I just said I'd. I had a trouser accident. I had a tr- backdoor trouser accident. <laughs> well, that's been some lovely story time. Hope you enjoyed I your I hope you enjoyed your stories. Good. That was story time. That was story time. It was. Um, what should we do now? I don't know. We can do I Like That of the Week. Go on, then. Let's be more positive. We, we went from a negative to now a positive. Yeah. We like to change it up, don't we? Yes. Ooh, I like that. Of the week. Um, go on. Ah, oh, I insist. That you go first. No, that you go first. Okay. Mine's controversial. Ooh. And a lot of people might not like this. Ooh, but you do. I li- well, not in... Is fi- it about football? Yeah. I like the fact that England are out the World Cup. Yeah. The reason is because obviously I was a bit gutted at first. Yeah. But now I can actually just watch the rest of the World Cup and not have to get stressed and nervous about it. Also, people don't come up with ridiculous... Because I I said I don't think we're good enough to get out the qualifying round. Absolutely not. And everyone's like, nah, well, we will, we will. And then when we got beat by Uruguay, everyone was like, nah, we still got a chance, but Italy had to win both games. And I'm glad that in that first game, uh, Costa Rica beat, it, beat Italy because it would have meant we would have had to win by 4 0. And everyone would have, it's, it was basic, it's more the annoyance of everyone being like, oh, no, we're going to do it when you just know it's not going to happen. Yeah. And now you can just get on with your lives and the team can rebuild properly. And have a better tournament in two years' time. I'm still a fan of England, still support them, but I'm glad they're out of the World Cup because now we can just concentrate on sorting the football out properly and I can have a less stressful summer. That's good. And just enjoy the rest of the World Cup as I have been. It's been marvellous. This World Cup has been. The last show we did was just the start of it. Yeah. Before it kicked off. But the, the, this World Cup, last one was boring most games would finish 1-0 stuff and the football wasn't great but this has been pretty much like the Premier League there's been surprise teams like Costa Rica winning there's been ridiculous games with five goals scored in a game it's just been end to end an enjoyable football mm. so uh, that's that's my like of the week that's good so how, how how do you suggest we rebuild the team like with um, well robots? I think I think obviously the retired players Gerard yeah and Lampard um I think Rooney's still got a place, but they need to find yeah. it properly, fit him in properly. I think they just need to build with the youth, and not just the youth, but have a have a plan in place. I prefer and robots. Y- you prefer robots? Yeah, I well, want I rob- we'd, we'd probably would win. X Men or match fixing? No. <laughs> but at the same time, <clears throat> I think it's all got to do with the fact that the Premier League kind of ruins it. Well, yeah, because. All the money with all these foreign players, the England youth isn't really being built properly. But anyway, that's a boring talk. Yeah, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah boring, blah, boring yeah. football. However, I'm glad. I know this might annoy you, but I'm glad England are out. All right, get over it. Okay, then I'll move on to my like of the week. Yeah, nice and simple one. Nothing so complex. I like the lovely weather. 
Mm. It's absolutely glorious. It's, do you know what? It's been the nicest sun. And, yes. apparently, I saw in the news the other day that May yeah. was the hottest May ever. Not just for Middlesbrough or the UK. For the world. For the world, for Earth. It was I the hottest May ever recorded on Earth. Don't agree. I reckon when we were just a bubbling ball of molten lava, it was a little bit hotter. Maybe since it's been recorded. Oh, okay then. then. That's more precise. But yeah, it's glorious, it's nice, and people are a bit more jolly ish, apart from the, some people. Apart take, from the chav state and the To tops. tape soap, yeah, and say, like, mm, behave. Yeah, sit on the front. With their horrible tattoos of. Mm-hmm. Uh, the England team. <laughs> bikes. Rooney. Bulldogs and Rooney and stuff like that, yeah. yeah. But no, the, we- the weather's been. It's been a lovely summer, hasn't it? What a lovely summer in Middlesbrough. But it does make you want to drink more. Yeah. It's becoming an issue, that. Yeah, it is. Like, we need to have a word. Mm. Who with? With each other. <laughs> Get All right. sorted. So there you go. That's, uh, that's our likes of the week. That is the likes of the week. Let's play a song. Which one are you going to pick? I'm going to play a song which goes out to all the fans of the England World Cup <laughs> who are hurting at the moment. Oh, this is Johnny Cash with Hurt. Originally by Nine Inch Nails. No, this is Mumford and Sons. Oh. Oh, no, yeah, it's Johnny Cash. Nah, you fool. This is Celebrate by... Uh, no, just play the track. By um, Rolf Harris. Ooh. Well, you can see his name. Somebody make some noise in this joint, man! <coughs> let me clear, clear my, my goat. 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 Oh, I got the wrong version, didn't I? Let me clear my goat. Is yeah. that what you wanted? It was the goat was in the way, and it was oh, a song about moving. Right. So it's a farmer going. Let yeah. me clear my goat. That one was DJ Cool. Let me clear my throat. The one I wanted was DJ um, Wet. Was let me clear my goat. Right. I got it wrong. Sorry. Sorry. Listeners. Sorry, listeners. Uh, do look for that on YouTube. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's probably there. It probably will be now. Um, so, and the song you heard before that was Johnny Cash "Hurt," uh, which is a great song, but it, made, it makes me cry. It is awesome. Uh, it's better than the original. Uh, what was the original? Was it uh, Nine, Nine Inch, Inch Nails? Nails? Yeah. yeah. Um, there's only one line of difference in the song, and I can't say what it is. But um, it's uh, it's. Yeah. He says thrones. He says uh, uh, something about. A crown of thorns and they say a crown of something else oh right okay so, yeah. um yes so and then you just heard dj cole let me clear my throat i'm sorry i'll get goat next time yeah we'll, we'll work on that um i think it's time now for today's weather uh, in a segment we like to call whether you like it or not whether you like it or not here we go today's made up weather sponsored by a cow a chicken <laughs> and david Attenborough. the blue-faced snub-nosed Golden snow monkey. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Still though. makes me laugh. Okay, the weather today is uh, from Germany. Okay. Okay. Um, it's going to be raining bats and frogs all over Germany. <laughs> okay. Absolutely all over it. Like, there's not an inch of it that's not going to be. Not an inch. That's, that's tomorrow, sorry. That's actually going to be happening tomorrow. Uh, around about sunrise it'll happen, and okay. then it'll stop on when the, the lights go out. Um, now, in Berlin, from 5 till 6.30, now this is tonight currently happening actually it's overcast with the cast of friends <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're, they're, just, they're all over Berlin just like in the sky all of them big joy face and everything uh, the pollen count is high on poppies okay yeah uh, now that that's generally that's more in the east mm. uh, in the east now there is a slight chance of sprouts just appearing in Munich due to chicken bombs being used on a Tuesday Right. Yeah. Now, yeah. this is an, an issue that of, often comes up mm. in, in in Munich um, because th- they just love the chicken bombs. Yep, they love it. So that is going to cause you issues if you're in Munich, so please look out for the just appearing sprouts. And if you're after weather more locally, then just look outside. Yeah, look outside. It's out there. It's You've lovely. got eyes. It's lovely. Why should we tell you? Why should we? And that was the weather. There we go. Could we play the, the of intro? Of course. Because it's lovely. Today's made of weather, sponsored by a cow, a chicken, <laughs> and David Attenborough. The blue-faced, snub-nosed, golden snow monkey. <laughs> now, 
Last week we weren't here, so the schedule to show in. Is it playing at the moment? No, it's off. Oh, now. did they stop it? Yeah, oh, sorry. Never and also, I, I don't know this system, so I wouldn't like to play with it. But we have to play the next mm, people. We, well, yeah, basically, they didn't think we were in today, so there was a previous episode playing underneath. Yeah. But on a different computer, so you won't have heard it. But Hopefully. What we, we, no, they won't have. But. What we were going to do, we were going to do a time capsule and see what happened two this weeks time, ago. Yeah. This time two weeks ago. It would have been funny, whatever we played it, was. it, but we can't do that. We can't. So, um, What did you think of the weather, anyway? I liked it. You did? Whether, whether I liked it or not, it's no, not important. It, but it's I, irrelevant, uh, isn't it? Yeah, but I, I enjoyed it. I particularly enjoyed the, uh, the forecast. <laughs> of the friends. Of the friends. Yeah, it's overcast, but the cast of friends. I like that. From 5 to 6.30. Um, I'll, I'll be intrigued to look at that on the weather. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're coming up to the end in a bit. We've got about fifteen minutes left. What can we talk about? Don't know. Balloons? No. Clowns? No. Ferris wheels? No. Uh, African tigers? Close, but not not enough. Okay. Uh, what about odd shape guitars? Odd shaped guitars? Yeah. No. Um, what about? My favourite subject of all, carpet laying instructions. No! Why? Because it's boring! Ah, oh, alright, okay. Let me pose a question to you. Mm. If you could be a road surf- surface, what road surface would you be? Hmm. Come on. This is dead air. Answer the question. It's not dead air. You're dead air. It's dead air when you're asking me questions like that. Well, just answer it then. I don't know. Well, while's your. Tarmac? Answer. Yeah, well done. That's the right answer. Was your answer? Is it question? the right answer? Yeah, it's the right answer. It's the only answer, really, isn't it? Uh, whilst you were answering that question, I've just been handed an award for you. <laughs> oh, you just give me a second. Oh, no, I'm sick of this award. Shut up. It's a brilliant award. It's the Tees Valley BME Achievement it's Award. It's the same award every week. 2013. Inspiring communities and recognising success. Winner, 2013. Here you go. Okay. Take oh, it. Thanks. It's all right. I, actually, I've... <laughs> I haven't really won an award before, so... No, it's not yours, but you can take it for now. OK. Thank you. Can you, you put it back now? OK, I'd like to I'd like to thank my... Um, no, well, my, my dad, really, uh, and mum, uh, for the support they've shown me over the years. Oh. And um, I wouldn't be here without them, obviously. Well, no. They, uh, they did it. They did it. Um, as parents do. And... Um, I'd like to thank um, I'd like to thank you, Bambi. That's you most f- welcome for for putting up with my um, for my news and uh, my inspirational stories. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank the listeners out there. Um, for you each, know what? I didn't think this through. For each and every one of you for I didn't think just, you were going to be still talking. Just your pure excitement for how how much you uh, how much you love me and all the fan mail you send me and <laughs> just just the devotion you give to me on a daily basis is is really admirable admirable admiral it's really admiral it's admir- admiral devotion really admiral devotion and um yeah i'd also like to thank uh, jesus christ um for um i don't know for something so yeah thank you round of applause to me that's very good thank you actually i've got some shows can i plug something oh yes you should um that's what we're here for a week on um, so, so actually, I'll get my calendar up. All right. Well, meantime, um, I'll discuss what he's wearing today. He's wearing a Brazil T-shirt, but not from uh, from this World Cup. I believe from the summer of '58 Festival of Football and Fun, live samba and something else. That's uh, what his his top is. And is are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Right. Sunday the sixth of July. Um, no, I, I always tell the truth. What? You said July. I said no. Oh, right. I see, I see, I see what you're doing. Um, Sunday the 6th of July, um, there's a show at the Little Theatre and it's called Summer of Music, I think. It's it's a concert anyway. It's a, it's a musical concert. Is this a, a bit of a fundraiser? It's a fundraiser for a show. For it, a further show? For uh, Middlesbrough Operatic Society. Oh, yes. Which you are part of. Which I am a part of. Um, and we're doing Hairspray cool. in November, and I'm playing the part of Corny Collins. Now, is that a big part? It, well, yeah. You weren't really aware of this, I wasn't you? aware. I wanted a small part where I came in, maybe a song, have a couple, ten minutes, yeah. steal off, the show. Off to the pub. Off to the pub. Yeah. Turns out I've got a part where I turn it quite a lot, 
I've got five costume changes, and I'm no good with them. Oh, my I've word. I've got two solo songs and a lot of dancing, and I can't dance for toffees. Yeah, you're singing, though, right? I'm singing. I can sing. Yeah, so you just but worry about your dancing. My dancing, and the fact I'm in it a lot. So it's going to be a lot of rehearsing, but the show's going to be really good. Just drop out the week before. No, I would never do that. No. Nah. I'm not one of them. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so that show's coming in November, and tickets are available um, to reserve. Not to buy? Um, no, because if you reserve them through the Opera Act Society, that's better than... Good. I can't really say that. But it's... it's yeah, yeah, You it's reserve them through the Opera Act Society, so you can contact someone at the Opera Act Society online on Facebook. Is it uh, Middlesbrough Opera Act Middlesbrough Opera Society. Society. I'm sure you'll be able to... It, just you can reserve that. tickets now, but they will be on sale, like, anywhere soon. Um, but you can reserve them and pay them later so you got them because they will sell out it's cool. going to be a big show because um, it's the first time it's ever been done uh, amateur excellent so that's Sunday the 6th of June what time? no, the, no, no sorry, July this, sorry. This, this, oh no you're talking about the further the, one the, yeah. this show the, it's a summer concert so it's going to have right. um, songs from uh, Rent songs from um, Oliver I'm, I'm doing Fagan again of course um, doing it uh, some Fagan and there's some other songs and stuff. And, and there's a bit of hairspray in there as well. And it's basically £10 a ticket. And it's on, on Sunday. And it's uh, it's going to be a fun little show. And uh, see some good singers, some good dancing that I won't be doing. But um, some good characters. And it's all um, fundraising for this show in November. So good, good, get, good. get yourselves there and then also inquire about tickets for hairspray. Yes. Good. I think we have time for one more track and then a bit of a chat. Yeah. Could we play the Munford and something? Yeah, I'll play it. Good. I'll play it right now. Good, thank you. I'll play it right now for you, Bambi. You don't need to shout. I'll play it for you. Right, what's happening? I'm going to play it for you right now. You're shrinking. What's happening? get an appreciation of our world is a beautiful place and we do need to take care of it. So there you go. That was uh, Munford and Sons with Where Are You Now? Uh, which is, I know it's not a particularly funny track, but uh, I enjoy it. And then I, um, that was Wind of No Changes by the Scorpion King. Isn't it supposed to be Wind of Changes? Yeah, it's Wind of Changes You've by the Scorpions. That on yeah, I did. I put it on a loop. No How annoying was that? Mm. I mean, you got a, a shout out to do. Yeah, I'm going to wish my much better half, better better half. She is better than you, like. She is much better. 100%. Uh, happy birthday <laughs> for tomorrow. Happy birthday for tomorrow. What's, yeah. what's her name? Should I tell people? Why? I don't know. Well, well no, no one cares. Yeah. No one cares. It's Lindsay. Happy birthday, Lindsay. Happy birthday, Lindsay. Many happy returns on your 80th birthday. Yeah. Well, I hope she's 80. She was, isn't she? Oh, dear. I'm in trouble. I think I am for saying that. Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> Only joking, she's not. But happy birthday. Have many happy times. Oh, we've got 55 seconds left. All right. Well, what, what are you doing anything for a birthday? Uh, we're going to toddle on down to York on Saturday. Ooh. You're going to see a, a certain Pollard. I think we might do. Oh, that'd be after, nice. after his work, he 
That's good. So, um, like we said, we're not here for a good four weeks or so um, for the station uh, celebrating. Um, so we'll be back. Uh, we'll keep you posted on with Facebook. Avengers. With Avengers on uh, on Facebook, we'll keep you posted. Look out for um, the Daft Hour on Facebook. Twenty five seconds left. You can. No, it's fine. You no, can, no, I'm 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 going to cry. I'm going to waste the you time. Can, you can look. Um, you can listen to old episodes on our YouTube page. I think you should listen to this one again. And this you can listen to this one. It'll funny. Be, be up. It has been a it good has show. Been funny. Um, this will be up there in a, in a few days. Um, so you can check back all our old episodes on YouTube. But the links are on Facebook as well. Yeah. So like and share. So um, stay daft, T side as always. Yes. Was that Jack? Yeah, he just popped in. Thanks, Jack Mumbley. Yes, Jack Mumbley. Cheers, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Um, stay daft. It was bye bye from uh, Morgan. And it's bye bye from Bambi. And it's bye bye from Jack. Okay. Yeah. Let's, Let's see, see if this works. This works. We've got another show coming. Y four point five. CVFM. For the community, by the community, this is your local voice and global choice, CBFM 104.5.